the, the trap of being in their delusional nonsense world has become a neural pathway, has become the way you think, okay? So the way to step out of it is to think differently. You're going to resist it, okay? The resistance to wanting to heal. The resistance to wanting to heal. We all say, I want to feel better. I want to heal. I want to get past the narcissism. I want to get past, you know, the trauma. But there is so much resistance. I talked to someone yesterday and I was trying to help her. Just related to self-judgment, right? And I was saying, well, you know, perhaps try this. And she says, yeah, but then this. And I said, okay, how about, you know, I said, can you just try it? She goes, well, I already know what's going to happen. And I said, well, could you just, okay, could you do this? And she goes, well, when I do that, I feel anxious. And I said, okay, good. You feel anxious. That's a feeling. Go with it. Where do you feel anxious? And when I'm trying to talk her through the whole process, right? Like the way I would talk someone through it. And she started laughing and she says, I do realize I'm being resistant. I do realize that I fight. I fight so hard to stay where I am instead of letting myself feel better and, and just actually trying to think. So yeah, where, where's your resistance? If your resistance is in fear, if your resistance is in self criticism, all of those things again are judgments. So yeah, that's what I'm getting at. We think these thoughts are our own. We think we hate ourselves. We think we are critical of ourselves. We think we, um, we think that, you know, the reason that these affirmations don't, aren't sticking, right. And aren't making it so that it's easy is because we think it's our thoughts that it's, that is the problem. And it never was your thought that was the problem. It was the way your brain took the information in and made it into its own belief system because that's how belief systems get started. <laughs> okay. It's natural and normal for your brain and it's very clever of your brain. So thank your brain because what that means is you can create a new one. You can create your very own belief system about yourself. And through that, you can learn to make decisions. And guess what? 10 seconds later, you can change your mind and you can make a different decision. It is programming and you must reprogram, not deprogram. Got it? Reprogram. You let the old thought tapes run. You let the old programming sit there and do its thing because if you fight it, you're in resistance. If you're in resistance, you're feeding it. Does that make sense? So if you're, if you, you start to learn to use the judgments, the inability to make decisions, the self-criticism as ways to create the new programming. Does that make sense? Your old programming isn't your enemy. It's simply a pattern in your head. Your new programming isn't the hero. It's simply a new pattern in your head that you're trying to get this beautiful thinking thing that's in your head, which is your brain, to follow the pattern of. And if it can follow the pattern of it, your life can change and be different because your emotions, which is where we live most of our life in our world, right? Your emotions and your thought connection will follow the pattern in the head. Okay, and vice versa, that creates the feedback loop. Your body will get great relief from a system that is not tearing it down and is not asking it to hold masses amount of stress in order to function. The old system, the reason you can't make decisions, the feelings of self-judgment and self-criticism are massively stressful on the body. The new thought patterns that you're going to put in your own head, your own head, without anybody else influencing it, from the outside that does not feel right to you, okay? You, you learn to trust this beautiful thing you have called intuition. And the, in that intuition links you to a consciousness inside of you that knows what is right for itself. And by right, I don't mean that as a judgment. I mean true, like compass north, the direction you're meant to go. When people say, oh, I know I was meant to do this or I was meant to, you see something and you're like, I'm meant to have that. I'm meant to be with that. It's that feeling, okay? That's what you need for yourself. I'm meant to be living this life, okay? And I'm, I am meant to find an upright position, not one where I'm being knocked over all the time because of the old program. I will, you know, subscribe, thumbs up if you need coaching, group coaching, anything like that. If you want to talk about what that is ever, ask me questions, I will answer. Or peer support, it's all in the main description of, of each video. I'll see you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.